Hey folks, JD here, and today I wanted to go through the Elegoo Mars one week after I've had it. My thoughts, my impressions, this is my first resin printer, I've had a PLA printer now for almost a year, and um, this is my first resin printer. I've used industrial scale resin printers, but never, I never thought that would actually come into the home, so I was ecstatic when <clears throat> I saw the price was actually as cheap as they are to buy. So. I'm just going to take you through some of the things I've printed. Now, this is the first thing that I printed. Um, uh, well, no, technically not the first, but it is one of the things I've printed. This is a Tyrannosaurus Rex Terminator skull. Not my own design. I wanted to see exactly how well this resin printer would be able to print. Now, I've just given it one undercoat of white here. You can see the, the resin I'm using is grey. And uh, I'm, I'm just astounded, absolutely astounded with how, uh, how this looks. So... I just absolutely blown away with the level of detail, the fact that you really have to look to see the lines. I'm holding it under very strong light here and I can just see the lines under here, but it is just incredible. And the the actual, the, the, the full on thickness of it as well and the strength of the resin is really, really good. I'm very happy with how the print has come out. I'm very happy with the level of detail, with the straight lines, with every single thing I am very happy with. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun in painting this, I really am, but I think to begin with, when I saw this, I thought to myself, wow, that is that is just incredible. And then I wanted to see what I could do from a miniature point of view, so I could take something like the Harry Potter Hogwarts castle and I could miniaturise it even smaller than what the, the, the STL recommended, slice it and then see exactly what how it would look. Now I've got a, a bit of curling in the corner here and in, in the corner there. But overall, I am so happy. Look at that bridge. Everything about it, I'm so happy with. The bridges in between, the turrets, the level of detail on the windows. You can see everything. I am so, so happy, including the little church down there. There we are. You've got trees down in the corner here. You can see the different layers of, 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 of um, detail on the trees. The river that runs in between. That is absolutely fantastic. So again, I'm going, to, I'm going to undercoat this, I'm going to paint it, I'm going to make it look as realistic as I can, I'm going to shade it and texture it, and then that is going to be a present for... Uh, well, she's not going to watch this, I doubt. It's just going to be a present for my mum or for her 75th birthday. She is a mad Harry, Harry Potter fan, and we've got tickets to take her up to the Harry Potter experience in London. So this is just a little thing that uh, I'm going to give her, and hopefully she's going to, she's going to like. So that's another thing. So I've had a couple of questions, one of them being, does it mean if I get a resin printer that my prints won't fail? No, not at all. Your prints are still likely to fail. So I've had prints from the PLA side of things fail. Uh, I'd say I roughly have about an 80% success rate with the end of three. Um, but then the, the, the success rate alters. If you're designing something, that success rate is going to is, is, is going to increase because you can ensure that the, the template is absolutely flawless. If somebody else has designed it, you've got to go through it and ensure that it, it is flawless. But the same happens on resin. Now, I've had... I blew up a... Um, a Terminator here a uh, from Warhammer 40,000 to a scale which I don't think it liked and as a consequence this is completed but it didn't print out either of the arms well it printed out one of the arms but missed the heavy flamethrower and missed one of his arms here as well now I, I put that down to the fact that I added supports that, w that weren't supporting correctly so the printer didn't know what to print when to print I am I'm gonna since I've since uh, taken away the prints left the scale but taken away the uh, the supports uh, I've also made another one at this with a uh, at a 45 degree support angle so I'm gonna try that as well to see exactly how that comes out but even though this is blown up much to a, a level that you know the the, the STL and the, the 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 application didn't recommend I'm still blown away at the level of detail especially in the face everything else is a little bit off scale but the face is great so that's what happens when when in my estimate you know my um to my experience when it fails uh, i've also got something printed now with the printer you get a, a, a whole army of wizards and, and paladins you get elves and everything else to to, to draw uh, to, to print out so i'm printing out all of those i want to see how they all look and even though i'm not really into that as much as i was i'm more into the into the fantasy um 
heavy armor and heavy artillery and, and things like that uh, robots titans i'm still going to see how it looks i'm going to see how it all comes out so i'm for the second uh 10 minutes into a three hour print so hopefully that's going to come out well as well uh so there we go that's just a couple of a couple of prints now what are my thoughts on it well you need a lot of accessories to go through it uh as we went through in, in a previous video um I, I've, I've listed those videos in the description should you want to see more. You need good ventilation, resin stinks, it even stinks when it mixes with isopropyl alcohol. You need a good place to clean your, 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 your miniatures, so I've got, as you would have seen in the last video, I've got a load of mason jars I clean my, all my things in. You definitely 100% need gloves, I can't go into this enough. Um, you need gloves before touching any uncured resin product or even touching the bottle. I have gloves on before I even take the bottle out of the bottom drawer here, before I even tip it into the reservoir, I have a glove on. Just quite simply because I did have resin touch my thumb the other day. Um, and as you can see, my thumb is fine. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. But I tell you what, it was... Because resin is an irritant, it, it did exactly that. It irritated the absolute hell out of me. Even once I washed it and scrubbed it and washed it again, my thumb that is, um, I still had an irritation under the skin for about at least an hour and a half. Um, and yeah, it, it just really annoyed me more than anything else. Um, so I would say be 100% careful. And how I got that, just just letting you know, was because I had what I thought was a bit of blue tack on, on, my, uh, on my bench there. And I did that with my thumb just to wipe it away. And it wasn't blue tack. As soon as I did that, it smeared and I thought, oh God, that's resin. And I ran into the bathroom and cleaned my thumb immediately. And it still annoyed me for over an hour after. So these gloves are imperative. Resin is not nice to deal with it is toxic it will hurt so you have got to ensure that you a store it store it um well and store it safely mine is all stored here in a lockable cabinet um you have to then ensure that your printer is on a nice level base so obviously the resin doesn't slosh about when this is printed i've got a base to put around the bottom of my printer so that if the if the the film inside the reservoir does break then everything will drip onto the drip tray and not all over the bench so i've got that to add to it as another as another precaution there are lots of things that you've got to take into consideration ventilation is one i've got a huge window here i've got a huge window there they're open all the time whenever i'm printing um you've got to ensure that the cover is on that nothing shakes same as pla printing uh there, there's loads of factors to take into consideration and one of them is the price it's very cheap looking at my electric meter it's very very cheap to use this versus a um a pla printer but at the same time there are other things to, to take into consideration, like the smell of the resin, the cleanup process afterwards. So the cleanup process, you have two gloves on, you have to ensure that your print comes off from the, from the bed into the isopropyl alcohol straight away, then I lock that down, then I go about cleaning the rest of this. So then I'm outside with a, a, a great big thick a tray, cleaning everything inside there. You can't tip that down the drain because it's resin, so then I just leave it evaporate outside uh, and of course the resin doesn't, you get some very sort of fine dusting of resin at the bottom. That's always going to be in the tray, but at least the isopropyl alcohol will evaporate and it does evaporate pretty quickly. Uh, there, so then I've got to come back and then clean the tools, but I've got to clean the tools in, 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 in isopropyl alcohol again in that same container. So then there's still a layer of resin that doesn't come off from it. Once the isopropyl alcohol uh, evaporates again, then, then my tools are fine and I'm ready to use again. I keep my tools in a great big, which is actually behind that, uh, behind those blinds, in a great big Pyrex, um, a gravy um, dish. So basically inside there, I've got all my tools. I've got a pair of tongs to get them in and out of here. I've got my spatulas. I've got everything inside there. And, and I've also got a funnel, a metal funnel, for putting the resin back in the bottle from the reservoir. Because for the second yet, I'm still not trusting what the application tells me when I have a full, huge, very complicated print, and it says you only need 30 grams of um, of resin, I'm saying, no, I don't think so. And I'm putting more in just to overcompensate because I don't want to run dry in that reservoir. So there's lots to take into consideration. Uh, from a, a, a value point of view, this printed in four hours, right? So, sorry. Yes, four hours, four and a half, I would say more like four and a half hours for that. If I was to print this a little bit larger in PLA, it would take me a day and a half. So the time that you can get back from printing in resin is 
incredible. It's very quick. It's 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 very easy to do. But one thing you will notice is that you have got a lot of tidying up afterwards. With PLA, you just quite literally. So this I printed on my PLA printer. So there we are. Happy with that. Great, lovely, very nice. Took it off. Got rid of the supports. Give it a little once over with a little bit of um, of very fine grade sandpaper, and she's ready. You know, there's there's nothing left. All I've got to do now is undercoat her and paint her, and that's it. Done. But with this, there's a lot more work involved. But seriously, it is really worth it when you get a print that comes out as small as that with as much detail, or as good as this with as much detail. I'm very happy with it. I I can't recommend this enough. But as I say, it is only one week in. I am going to be doing a lot more uh, with this printer. Um, and I'm going to bring you any updates, any failures, and I'm going to bring you a lot more information on it as the weeks and months go on. So, um, yeah, so far, a week on, I'm very happy, but it takes a lot of work and a lot of cleaning to ensure that you go from being yourself nice and safe and ensuring that your prints are nice and safe and then the curing time on top of that as well, which obviously I made my curing box, but I went into all of that in a previous video, which you'll find in the description as well. All right, my friends, well, I'm going to leave that there. I hope you've enjoyed that, and I hope it's been of some use to you. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic, as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and ring that bell, too. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy printing. <laughs>